Well, hello everyone, it's Joe Grotesque, and yes, I'm back finally after a three month long hiatus, but sometimes life happens. And of course, personal life stuff has to take priority over YouTube, especially when you're not taking YouTube so much as a business, more so of a creative outlet. Not to mention the fact that while I was gone, I was demonetized and dropped by my network due to the new regulations that YouTube put into place. That aside, I have a few things I want to talk about with you guys, one of them being something that a lot of people are talking about right now, and that's the demise of Toys R Us. And yes, it's sad. I've got a lot of fond memories of Toys R Us. Actually, when I was a kid, I don't think there was a Toys R Us within a 200 mile radius of my house. Toys R Us was kind of a thing that I experienced on summer vacations when uh, my family and I would go visit my mother's side of the family, which was a bunch of Italian people in Brooklyn, New York, and there happened to be a really cool Toys R Us there in Brooklyn, and that was something I really looked forward to every summer. One of my fondest memories of that particular Toys R Us was in the late 80s, around the time Ghostbusters 2 came out, uh, my cousin and I went into the Toys R Us and we got proton packs from the real Ghostbusters, and for whatever reason that just has stuck with me, just the visuals of the inside of the store. Uh, seeing NES games and seeing all kinds of really cool toys. Back then, uh, the toy selection for boys anyway was a lot greater than uh, what it has been here recently. So with the fact that Toys R Us is closing in the very imminent future, I wanted to take my daughter to experience it for the first and perhaps the last time. She got to go and she was very excited. We're down Toy Store. Excited? Yeah. How excited? <laughs> I, I, I need a little buggy. You need a little buggy yeah. to ride in? Yeah. To pick out your toys? Yeah. How many toys are you going to get? Uh, All of them? All of them, yeah. Yay. <laughs> Toys R Us, we'll miss you. So on a less somber note, over the last few months I have got to pick up a few cool retro toys that I want to share with you guys. Up first is a toy that came out in 1987 from the Coleco company and it's from a toy line called Mashems. They were called Mashems because, well, that's why. And this guy is kind of apropos seeing as the fact that uh, gun control is a real hot issue here in the US right now. This is gun nuts. Now here's something that I didn't expect to say and be totally serious. I picked up a crackhead. No, it's crackhead from Madballs, who was later named Bash Brain, well, for obvious reasons. But the fact that he came out in 1985 the uh, crack epidemic was just kind of starting to become a thing, so you can't really knock Amtoy for that. Up next I've got something I like to call deliciously awful, and that is Electronic Wrestling from Tiger Electronic Games. Now these Tiger Electronic Games aren't very good, but you gotta consider the time period. This was back before the Game Boy was super popular, so this was like really one of the only real and affordable ways you could play handheld games at the time. So for that, you gotta give it credit. Up next I've got an action figure from a toy line called Supernaturals that came out in 1987. This was like the really weird hologram toy phase. Like these guys and Visionaries were really popular. This is Lionheart. It was really cool to pick him up in package, even though the packaging's kind of uh, less than desirable. Uh, it's still intact, and you can see all the cool artwork on it. And I don't know if that's going to pick up the hologram on there or not, but just trust me, he's got a hologram on his torso and a hologram on his shield and a really cool glow-in-the-dark sword. And last but not least, this isn't really a toy, but it is Garbage Pail Kids, a complete box, all 48 packs of original Series 6. 
Now I've got quite a few more of these boxes which I'll be showing in an upcoming episode of What a Bunch of Garbage and uh, I hope you guys will watch that. That's all for my pickups but I did want to talk about two modern games that I'm actually excited about coming out here in the coming month. One of them being Yakuza 6. Anyone that knows me knows that this is my favorite game franchise and I've been waiting on this game for a while. It was released in Japan in December of 2016 and it's just now making it over here. After a delay, it was actually already supposed to be out now but they delayed it. Uh, but what's cool about that is it will be coming out within a matter of days before God of War 4 which is the other game. And I'm sure, you know, there's millions of people excited about that game, just like I am. And that's about it for now, guys. I just really wanted to do a vlog because it's been so long. Uh, very, very soon I'll have a new episode of What a Bunch of Garbage. I've already got a bunch of stuff filmed for it. I've just got to film a couple of extra things and do the editing and so forth. And it'll be out really, really soon, so I hope you guys will watch it. Until then, take care.